morning from paradise and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Unices, and today we just woke up at kipling lodge right here in kanglumira in ginger i arrived at this literally paradise very late at night i was kind of tired but of course i remember to get you guys snippets of my dinner uh which i love loved so much so for my starter uh, I had the pumpkin soup and one thing that stood out for me was the fact that it was not just any pumpkin soup, it was pumpkin soup with a pumpkin seed. And uh, for the main meal we had fries and uh, beef steak and uh, for the dessert we had uh, vanilla panna cotta which I was also testing for the first time but I love loved. So I cannot wait to give you all the stories and show you more about this place but you just give me a few minutes let me first have my breakfast and I'll be right back. Hi guys, so it is time for us to have our breakfast and I'm having coffee right here, nothing beats coffee by the Nile. Then I'm having a fruit bowl here, I'm having bread, some crepes and eggs just the way I like it. I can't wait to dig in. The culinary vision of Kipling Lodge is where exquisite taste meets environmental sustainability. They have a farm-to-table arrangement where they grow most of the ingredients that their chef later turns into divine dishes. After my breakfast, I decided to pay their farm a visit. Hey, homely, welcome. My name is Jessila. I welcome you to the Kipling Farm. So it's at Kipling, it's always farm-to-table. So we grow and then we take to the lodge and they, pre they prepare meals for the algae. So today we are going to the farm tour. So you're going to see the vanilla and then you're going to see the lettuce and other vegetables that we serve at the lodge. Right here, this is called vanilla. So vanilla, basically we plant a vine. So this is called the vanilla vine, okay. as you can see. And then these are the vanilla pods. Okay. Yeah. So it takes two and a half years mm -hmm. for the vanilla to start flowering. Two years. Two and a half. Two and a half years. Yes, yeah, so you have to be patient <laughs> okay. for vanilla to start flowering. Mm -hmm. However, before we start, before you plant the vanilla vine, mm -hmm. we, we plant the grisidia first. This is called grisidia. Okay. It helps us. It helps to support vanilla. And when it starts flowering, a farmer has to inspect the garden on a daily basis so that you don't miss out the flower. So it takes twelve hours if we. To, for the flower to be pollinated so if you don't pollinate in between the 12 hours it mm. means the flower is going to fall off okay. so now each of this pod you see this was a vanilla flower that you pollinated mm. yeah each of this was a flower so okay. i'll show you how to pollinate the flower mm. afterwards but now you can see it here smell on this you could you can smell the vanilla no that one it has grown <laughs> and when it grows oh, you leave it on the tree over leave it on the tree, it splits so now oh, it's split by itself yeah by itself now it's at overgrown and now you can smell the vanillin yeah and then so now this as you can see is ready for harvesting yeah oh so you can now harvest this yes and then it does the rest so let me, this is how we, uh, we harvest it Ooh. and then you can also harvest this harvest. yeah uh -huh. aha oh. wow <laughs> so <laughs> So this is how we harvest our vanilla. Yeah. So yeah. some some seeds we, we don't plant them directly. Okay. So we first put them in our nursery bed and then afterwards we transplant them to our main garden. Yeah. So right here we have this is dill. Here we have some chilies that these are all chilies. Mm -hmm. This is basil yeah. and then we also have some lettuce right here. Okay. Yeah. So 
from here, that's when we take them to our, nursery, to our main garden. We, so we transplant them to the main also garden. This is, not up. this is called... Oh, strawberry! <laughs> yeah, strawberry! This, this technique is called throwing. Yes, because you just throw the ball on the, on the quill head. Now, <coughs> you're going to have your both palms placed here. Make it longer. No, just in the sides. Then you'll have your thumbs in the middle <coughs> and push <coughs> speed yes have both hands wet real wet Grab yes wet. now left and right is hold the family more water sometimes I even help you add some water like this oh, as you are that going is in how much water we need not too much but now have your palms, your thumbs in the middle. The family? Uh, yes. In the middle. In the middle. Okay. Yeah. That's what he told me. To yes. Do. Please go on. Yeah. Go on. Press down once. Just touch down on no. Not just the ring. Okay. The top of the product. You'll see it enlarge. Coming a plate. Yes, it's what we wanted to. Yay! We wanted to come up with a product. Okay, my my, th I need more water. Yes, gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Mm. Like I said. Destroy a plate. Yeah. yeah, it's done. So after that very sumptuous lunch that I so much loved because we got to test uh, the same spices that we had just picked from the garden, uh, they did let us rest clearly. And <laughs> if you've been here for a very long time, you know that one thing I love more than the destination that I'm going to is activities. So we've been indulged. Oh, we've been indulging in a pottery class. And uh, guys, I'm a natural. I always knew I was good at something. <laughs> So we just made something that looks like a plate <laughs> and uh, so after that class, yeah, I made this myself by us. So I'm just going to place it right here. I hope the sun uh, gets to help me out uh, because we want it dry and uh, you guys, you never know one of these days you might be buying plates from me. Yeah, so I'm going to let my products uh get a little bit of sun on it i don't know if it's going to be fully dry but i'm so proud of myself and i can't wait to see what next i do right here at kipling lodge
I've been doing this long enough to know that for some of you guys, this is actually your favorite part looking at the, you know, having a room tour. So this particular cottage is called the Gorilla Cottage. So in case you like what you're going to see in a few minutes, uh, the next time you're here, you can ask for the same cottage. So come with me, let's check it out. So when you get inside, the first thing, I don't know about you, but the first thing that struck me is a picture of the gorilla. You guys know that Uganda is home to almost half of the world's uh, gorilla population. So this clearly uh, represents that. Then another cute thing that I noticed are uh, these cute little windows. These are like the smallest windows I've ever seen. So you get to have a glass of nature. Yeah, there are very many of them. You can see others. Then when we come here, it being the gorilla cottage, I'm thinking that is why they have a lot of gorilla uh, pictures. So there is yet another one. And I get to have all this to myself. Hmm. I cannot wait. After that long journey, I'll be traveling from Kampala or elsewhere, which I know is definitely going to be a more noisy place. You need a mattress like this to come and relax so i cannot wait to fully enjoy that then of course there's a window and yet another interesting thing is they use bottled water uh if you guys know something about conservation plastic bottles are not so good for the environment so they use uh such bottles so you're not gonna find your usual water anywhere so when we come this side this is the bathroom as you can tell, it generally has a rustic feel to it, starting from our sink right here. I don't know what you guys call it in your local language, but in my local language, call it Echkarai. morning guys so my cottage is right up there and uh, I'm I know I'm not the only person who struggles with waking up in the morning on a normal day but on a day when I'm on a staycation I'm up as early as possible so today I was early up on time to catch these guys doing their fishing very interesting routine and very interesting boats and of course taking in this view before anything else this view is right in front of uh, my cottage at the Kipling Lodge and I can't explain to you guys how exciting that was for me. Uh, the view, the sound of the waves of the river Nile, guys, I could literally live here forever.
how I love to give you options. So this is yet another cottage uh, for some of you that travel in uh, maybe as a family or in groups. Oh. Alright, so there's a double bed and then there are stairs going up. So we're gonna see. Uh, so of course this is the bathroom, rustic, just like the other one as well. Then we're gonna see what is up the stairs. Two more beds up here, and uh, so this gives you more space if you're traveling with more people with your family. Mm.